What's up logical people, this is Amar. A room is logged with a 9 digit passcode. The passcode is a very special number with each of the digits from 1 to 9 appearing once. The complete passcode is a 9 digit number and it's evenly divisible by the number 9. So when you divide this number by 9, you won't get any fractional value. When you remove the last digit or the rightmost digit, you get an 8 digit number. This number is evenly divisible by 8. When you remove one more digit from right, you get a 7 digit number which is divisible by 7. This property continues all the way down to one digit. Can you find the actual 9 digit passcode to get through the door? Please take a screenshot right now and share it on WhatsApp, Facebook and other social accounts. It's a brilliantly composed puzzle, definitely not an easy one to crack. And I bet you will find this problem very interesting to solve. So pause the video and think logically. Let's represent the 9 digits from A to I. Let's first consider those numbers which are to be divided by the even numbers 2, 4, 6 and 8. The units place in each of these cases must be an even parity number. Only then these numbers would evenly be divisible by the even numbers. So the spots B, D, F and H will get even numbers. And eventually, the remaining 5 spots A, C, E, G and I will be occupied by the remaining 5 odd numbers that's 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. To find out the correct numbers for each spot, we will work with the divisibility rule of different numbers. Let's start with the divisibility rule of 5 that says a number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is either 0 or 5. We don't have 0 in the actual given number and also the spot E is for an odd number. So the value of E is 5. Divisibility rule of 4 says the number would be divisible by 4 if the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4. So the number formed with C and D should be divisible by 4. Since C is an odd number and D is even, from the table of 4, considering the odd even combination of C and D, we can say D can only be 2 or 6. So for instance, the number CD can be 12, 16, 32, 36 and so on. So the possible value for the spot D is either 2 or 6. The same divisibility test of 4 can also be applied on this number with 8 digits. If this 8 digit number is divisible by 8, then it must be divisible by 4 and 2 as 4 and 2 are the factors of 8. And this number would be divisible by 4 only if the number formed by the last 2 digits GH is divisible by 4. Once again, it's a combination of an odd and an even number. So the even number can only be 2 or 6 just like we saw before. So D and H will mutually get the numbers 2 or 6. Now we are left with 2 even numbers that's 4 and 8. So the remaining 2 even spots B and F will mutually get the remaining 2 even numbers 4 or 8. Now we can work out the remaining spots. A, B, C is divisible by 3. Please note it down as we would need this shortly. A, B, C, D, E, F is a 6 digit number and it is divisible by 6. So this number must also be evenly divisible by 2 and 3 as 2 and 3 are the factors of 6. Here please focus on the divisibility by 3. This complete number is divisible by 3 and its subset A, B, C is already evenly divisible by 3 which we have already noted down. So, if till this point the number is evenly divisible by 3, then it's very obvious that the remaining part DEF must also be evenly divisible by 3. Only then the complete number ABC DEF will be evenly divisible by 3. For example, 
if this six digit number is divisible by three and if the number formed with first three digits is divisible by three then obviously the number formed with last three digits must also be evenly divisible by three so here we have def evenly divisible by three d is either two or six e is five f is either 4 or 8. So the number def can have these possible values, out of which only the numbers 258 and 654 are divisible by 3. This means if d comes out as 2, then f would be 8. And if d comes out as 6, f would be 4. So on the above display, Let's show this mutual relation between D and F with some arrows. Now let's work on the number ABC. A and C are odd numbers and B is either 4 or 8. Let's list down all possible combinations of ABC. So here are the possible numbers with 4 in the middle and here is a similar set of numbers with 8 in the middle. And now you can either check the divisibility by 3 manually or apply the divisibility rule of 3 that says if sum of all digits is divisible by 3 then the number is divisible by 3. So here are 10 possible numbers for ABC which are divisible by 3. We have already calculated the two possibilities for the number DEF as 258 or 654. So now if we combine ABC and DEF to solve for the six digit number ABCDEF, then for each of ABC possibilities, there would be two DEF possibilities, giving us 20 possibilities for the six digit number. But here we can easily eliminate the numbers that are repeating the digits. For instance, the digit 8 is repeated here, so this number would become invalid. So now the overall number ABCDEF can have these possible values. Now consider the seventh digit G. G is supposed to get an odd value. And in each of these possibilities, three odd numbers are already used. So the seventh digit G can have remaining two possible odd numbers. So we get 20 possibilities for the seven digit numbers. Here we will not use the divisibility rule of 7 because it's time consuming and not optimized. So quickly check all of them manually. And now we are left with these three possible 7 digit numbers. Now let's place the 8th number H. If D is 2, H has to be 6 as you can see at the top. And when D is 6, H would be 2. Now the divisibility rule of 8 says if the number formed with last three digits is divisible by 8 then the complete number is divisible by 8. So only this number passes the test. And eventually the ninth spot i would be taken by the remaining number 9 and this number is evenly divisible by 9. Let's quickly verify the given conditions by removing the last digit one by one. So this is a secret code to open the door. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share the video. And if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and stay updated with a new logic puzzle every week. Till then, give a try to these difficult puzzles. Also check out interview riddles on my channel Logically Yours.